So in the last video, not only did I become one of the greatest kings in the world, but I also forged a dragon blade and I used that blade to defeat the mighty dragon. I don't want to brag, but I think, I think things are going to be okay. Want to keep up with the latest beautiful OB videos? Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. What's up guys, Obi here and welcome back to some more Sort the King. If you missed the last video, there's a playlist down in the description, but right now we are on day 40. Our population is well over a thousand. Our happiness is high and we got a pretty good amount of money. Now grandma's here. She wants to give me some more money. I'm going to go ahead and give her a yes on that. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to continue ruling in a very nice and kind way because we are growing this castle into something pretty darn wonderful right now. Oh, fishermen report seeing schools of dancing mermaids in the water, raising their spirits. Look at that. We found dancing mermaids. Oh, 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 if you missed the last video, we are currently looking for a ball of yarn named Yarno. If we find him, we can then tell Red Button Dude or whatever where he's at, and then Red Button Guy is gonna like lead us to the celestial kingdom where we can meet like the best kings and queens of all the lands. Uh, my little cat is looking for him right now, so we'll hope. The cat just wouldn't leave me alone until I came back here. Was it Button Boy who sent the cat? He's been trying to steal my position as advisor for years. He claims to be the true advisor, but it's just a lie. He's only a button after all. I, Yorno the Blue, am the true advisor to the Coffee Kingdom. Accept no substitute. And he's gone. My man, <laughs> that's the red button. Guard sees that yarn. Well then, sir, I'm not sure how much part of, wait, I'm not... Uh, words? I'm not sure how much a part of you actually played in this, but Yarno's been found. I'm in a generous mood, so I'll set up a meet with the advisor Paya of the Celestial Kingdom. She's quite busy, but you should expect her to come by sometime soon. Make sure this castle is nice and clean. You'll want to impress her. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, I will. Guys, if you're still enjoying this video, make sure to drop it a like and go down below and subscribe. It really helps me out. I've collected some incomes from the circus. Would you like me to tax them? Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. I do need to make a little money here, okay? I only got $699, and running a castle isn't cheap. A lot of people have some uh, expensive demands. Am I feeling spooky today? No, I'm not. Mm -mm. I'm feeling actually pretty nice today, honestly. I feel like my beard's looking on par today. I got a lot of likes on the video, hopefully from you. Oh. Want me to steal from the rich and give it to you? you? No. We do not mm -hmm. steal from the rich or the poor. We always take the high road to this here castle. Yo, it's the robot that I fixed up. I am truly sorry about earlier. My circus were quite fried. I offer my thanks for your help. Okay, yes, absolutely, dude, of course. A hundred gold? We are almost passing a thousand gold right now. Holy moly. And my jester's back. I don't know if I put this in the last video, but I bought him a brand new, like, balls and stuff that he can juggle. And I upgraded his little jester circus thing or something. So he's super happy now. Okay, is he going to make me money? Wait. Is he asking for 700 gold? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm poor again, but hey, got to keep my jester happy, right? So people want to ban pineapples in the city. I don't think we should ban it. Just don't eat it if you don't want it. Oh, people are unhappy about that. Yeah, I'm going to stick up for the pineapples. Uh, Because like, you know, just because one person don't like it, maybe other people do like them. Uh, the cat wants a belly rub, so absolutely to that. You never say no to kitty belly rubs. Oh my goodness, I was just on autopilot. I didn't realize this is a celestial advisor person. Is, is she wants to know if I want to do something. Yes, I think so. I'll, I'll inform King Andromedius. So I think, I think I'm going to join their console of kings or something. Royal advisor, oh my, was that woman for the Celestial King? Yes, she was. The Celestial King sits at the head of the Council of Crowns. Any connection with them will surely do us well in the future. I made it. I made it. I'm becoming a real, true king. But Jory just finished moving in, but I would like to request an assistant of my own. May I have but one person? Yes, you may. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may. One person is not a lot to me. I accidentally ate some folks out front. Can I just pay you back with gold? Last time I said no, he walked away and said, well, I already ate them and now you get no gold. So yes, mm -hmm. I'll take the gold. Oh, I lose five people. Well, I would have lost the five people anyways because he already ate them. This way, at least I, I lose five people but I make some money out of it, right? I'm going to leave the kingdom now to preserve my dream of becoming a game dev. Goodbye. 
Goodbye, friend. Mm -hmm. Be safe out there, my man. Maybe our paths will cross again. Probably not, though. And he left a giant gear. Oh, a cog. Take this cog to remember me by. I've got plenty so you can have this one. Aww. Bye, Mr. Robot. Good luck in making video games, buddy. Yeah, guys, I lost some population and happiness today. A wizard came by and uh, things didn't go well for me. But that's okay. That's okay, because we're still doing well. And who's this young man? Scientist. Hello, hello. I am well. I am the scientist. I do science for you, King. You see, the city has grown, and we have grown too. The science community, that is. We now have our very own Council of Science, which I am the leader. Today, I simply wish to introduce myself, and now I have, I have. I will visit you once again in the future regarding our projects, science projects. Oh, my man's in potions class. I like this guy. Oh, no. Okay. So, remember, like, two minutes ago when I said a wizard came by and I had some bad luck? Yeah, that's what happened. I'm going to go with a yes, though. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay, I got 100 gold, 20 population, and 5 happiness. That's what I like to see. Y'all, I am so close to being over $1,000. Every time I get close, I always end up spending most of it. This kid wants a coin. He can have one coin. That won't stop me from getting 1,000. That's my goal. I want to get 1,000 gold. I want to be rich. Oh, my man. May I have your permission to raise my prices? Mm -hmm. Raising my man and 50 gold right there three happiness as well. We are 25 gold away from 1,000 gold. We're 10 gold away now. Holy moly. The owners just wanted to share some gold with me. Day 49. Whoa. Guys, look at the background, by the way. Look how big my castle is growing. This is amazing. That cog you have there. I wish to purchase it. Why? I have my reasons, good king. Aw. 1,000? Mm -hmm. Yes! Okay, now, okay, well, that was easy. Now we're almost at $2,000. Um, guys, the, I, I got a lot of money. <laughs> Look at my gold coins in the background. I'm going to drown in gold. Oh, oh, I do believe I have perfected my show. Gold, it does require, but happiness it shall bring. 700 gold? Yes, mm -hmm. that is, that is pocket change to me now, young jester. Have your 700 gold and rejoice in your gesturings. My broom's all worn out, and it's my birthday. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You can have a new broom. Of course. Okay? It's not about the money for me, guys. It's about the happiness in my population. The money's just nice to have because I can make more people happy if I have more money. Advisor P is back. Make way, make way for King Andromedius, Lord of the Celestial Kingdom. We're about to meet this man. He's beautiful. <laughs> you don't always need to make such a fuss about my entrance. Anyways, yes, hello, good king. I've heard much about you and your people. We in the council are quite impressed with you and would love to induct you. There's just one small issue. All four of the existing council members must be present to induct a new member, but I'm afraid Queen Chantarella and Queen Ch Serif ha are having a bit of a fight at this moment. We'll need to calm them down and settle their dispute before we can join the council. You should be hearing from their advisor shortly. I'm entrusting you with the task of reconciling the two queens. Best of luck to you. And afterwards, that seat on the console shall be yours. Okay. All we got to do is make the two queens happy and friends again. And boom. We're in. Okay. So the ocean kingdom and the plant kingdoms. Okay. We got to remember that. That's where the queens are going to be coming from. I'm sure we can settle whatever it is that's troubling their queens. Yes, we can. We can solve anything. Yo, the science guy is back. Okay, let's see what he has to say. We have devised a way to broadcast music across the entire city using a network of sonic hardware. I'm not quite sure if this would be useful, but wouldn't it be fun to try in the name of science? Okay, yes, a, a mere 100 gold? Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Guys, if we can get music blared over our city, that's gonna make people so much more happy to go outside and they're gonna be like dancing and stuff. I don't, I don't know what, what do people do back in, what year are we in? 50, what? The Guild of Pineapple Traders offers you a gift, sire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pineapples. I think it was my last video or this one at the start. I don't remember, but I, I, I decided not to ban pineapples. So, <laughs> I guess pineapple people are happy with me. Oh my goodness, this guy has, he has a blueprint for a gold generating machine. It will take some time to construct. Yes, yes, and many resources, but if my calculations are correct, at least it will produce gold steadily for the rest of eternity. Perhaps you might initiate this project. Yes. Mm -hmm. 500 gold. Take it, my man. Go make me infinite gold. 500 gold for infinite gold. Yeah, you don't have to be crazy not do that. Uh, this guy wants to know if I call this a castle. Yes, I do, my man. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Whoa. Georgie. 
Hey, uh, good friend, I thought you might be interested in making a deal. A good, wholesome, friendly deal. Yeah, and Angel, such as myself, could offer you lots of happiness. It would cost you some gold, though. How about this? A few hundred gold from you, and I'll make sure your citizens are happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, doesn't matter if it's good or bad, honestly. I just love making deals. Okay, so he could be either... I think this guy could be either really good or bad. Uh-oh. Those fishermen are at it again. Give me a sacrifice, or I swear I'll um, do something bad. Bring it on, my man! Are they angry you? Well, I mean, I can't feed you people, dude. That's just out of the question. Do you want, like, a hamburger or something? <laughs> I don't know. I'm back. I found these shiny yellow stones. Pretty cool, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'll take those 60 gold stones off your bra. Sir Tortuga. I've never met this person before. Um, greens. Hello, I am Sir Tortuga of the Shell Knights. We fight for all that is good and righteous. Okay, I like this guy. Is there anything um you might need assistance with here, sir? No, but I, I like you and I want to be friends with you. Okay, okay. This guy's going to stick around and help us out if we need any assistance with anything. So that's pretty good to have. Advisor Pontus. Look at his little pants and his little shoes and his little bow tie. Good day, I'm Advisor Pontus of the Ocean Kingdom. Oh, recently a dispute has been raised between our queen and the plant kingdom. A plot of marshland has been discovered and must be legally marked as one kingdom's property. Since the marsh contains water, clearly it must belong to the Ocean Queen. The plant queen refuses to listen to reason. However... And insist it should be hers. Will you support our claim to the marshland? Will you help the ocean kingdom? I mean, it's marshes, it's not ocean. This is a tough choice here, guys. Um, I'm gonna go with a yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, I'll bring word of su your support to the cream, okay? With you on our side, we should be able to take, oh, wait, well, hold on, overpower the plant kingdom and take that marsh? I don't want anyone to get hurt here. And technically, a marsh isn't in the ocean, okay? It's more plants than ocean. I think, I don't know. I just want to make someone happy, I guess. A caravan of mine wishes to camp in your city for the next few days. Might that be arranged? Absolutely it can. Uh-oh, we have Advisor uh, Agaric. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's with the plant king because he looks like a little mushroom guy. Um, Hello, my name is Advisor Agaric. I represent the plant queen, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we, yeah, we support the ocean kingdom. As a land filled with grasses and plant life, that marsh rightfully belongs to the plant queen. I kind of agree with that. I will give you a chance to correct your mistake and announce support for us instead. Make the right choice now. Will you? Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay. Okay. So I, oh, no. Um, okay. So now we're going to back the plant kingdom. Honestly, I feel like it's more plants than an than ocean anyway. So some villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them a sum of money. No, let them leave. Mm -hmm. Let him leave. We, we don't, we don't, that's bullying. I don't want to get bullied into paying people money to stay. Hello, good king. It seems the trouble regarding the marshland has all been cleared up. Once Queen Shantarello or whatever realized she won, she was willing to split that marsh with the ocean kingdom. Sometimes the leader just needs a bit of respect, you know? Well, either way, your input helped break the stalemate. For that, I am thankful. Now, as promised, your seat on the console. I'll have Pyre make the final arrangements inform you when you're right. Oh my goodness, guys, we made it. We made it. Thank you again for your assistance in this matter. Yes, absolutely, dude. Guys, we're gonna enjoy the console of the Celestial Kingdom. That's like, that sounds crazy. Okay, so you know that treasure chest that went around eating people earlier? Well, he said he only eats people because he's cursed and he wants to stop. And this witch says she might be able to help him break the curse. Uh, okay, for a small price, okay, should we be assistance? That is a small price. I can afford 40 gold, of course. Okay, let's see here. I'll have your friend sorted out in no time. Guys, our little treasure chest is gonna be super, um, not eating people anymore. You ready for the truth? Aliens have already landed and they're in our city. You think we're safe? Yes, yes I do. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Why would they want to harm us? Exactly, exactly. Oh, it's advisor. Pie or whatever. Good day, sir. We're ready to officially induct you into the console of crowns. There are a few formalities to observe. Can I skip over those and give you the short version? Yes, you may. Please mm -hmm. do. Please do. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Gather around, everybody. Oh, we got a lot of people here. Oh, my goodness. I'm an advisor. Celestial kingdom kings, blah, blah, blah. You're a king, too. You're a good king. We're inviting you. You're accepting. And it's very well and good. On behalf of the Castle of Crowns, I now pronounce you a crowned 
king. All right, we're done. You're in. Now that you're part of the council, representatives from other kingdoms may come to you for help. Make sure you do your best to assist them. And sincerely, congratulations. The council is the highest rank to which a king can rise. We've done it. We have hit the peak of kingness stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop this video a like. Go down below and subscribe. Ring that bell. And I'll see you all in the next video.